Hello, Sumiyas. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to see how to install Specflow. As you can see, guys, I have installed Visual Studio 2022, but I have not added an extension for Specflow. In order to add that, guys, I can just click on Continue Without Code. So we have to come at extensions because we have not installed specflow manage extensions in the manage extensions we can see we have to search it so let me search for specflow so specflow is there let it download this one so let me click on download it will download for Visual Studio. If changes will be scheduled. Modification will begin when all the Microsoft Windows will be closed. Close. Let me close this also. So let it install this one. Yeah, I want to click on modify. So it shows now your modifications have been successfully applied. Please close and restart target application instances so let me close it so now let me click on create a new project so in the new project i'll get the sample templates so now i have to see which sample template to select so as you can see we inst we did install specflow so let us search for specflow so it should come on the top Choose this, let me click on next. So let us see. I'll write spec flow and BDD. So yeah, we should not have special characters. So I'll write spec flow BDD. So I'll click on create. So now it will take a uh, create a new spec new spec flow project with .NET 6 framework and n unit we will select .NET 6 as it is the latest version and also the test framework as n unit so click on create so now it is creating a project for you now it will add a basic template which you are expecting with specflow so as you can see specflow project is created you can see the drivers here you can see the dependencies you can see everything okay for dependencies we have to right click let us uh, build the specflow first specflow bdd so let the build start it will start analyzing the dependencies so when build gets successful this uh, warning symbol will go away so it is as you can see it is downloading here now once we have done the build you can see build got one succeeded, zero failed, and now we can see here there is no warning symbol and dependencies. So these are the packages which is installed, and specflow is there, specflow n unit, and also we will get one sample feature file which is calculator dot feature file. It will be present here. So let me open that. So this is the feature file. So basically, it follows the same Gherkin language. So a simple thing what we use in Kukumba. So my tag tag will be there. Based on this tag, we'll execute the scenario. And also step definition will be there. If you are familiar with Kukumba framework, so we'll use the same working language for Kukumba also. Uh, this is the step definition. You can directly travel from here. So step definition, only thing you have to do, click here, do a right click, go to definition click on it so it will directly navigate you the exact mapping from feature file to step definitions hope you would have liked the guys in this video we are just installing the spec load and also we got an idea like how feature file will be there and step definition will be there if you really like the video please click on like if you are new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye